In this demonstration, we're going to show you with the Quantum Q Logic 3 how to operate the basic functions on this joystick. Now, do remember not all chairs are going to have the same functions, so I'm going to go over everything. This one has all four functions, but not every chair has those functions. So to turn the power chair on, you have a lever on your left hand side. You're going to push that lever forward. You will see a Q come on the screen and then you will see the display. Right now, there's a couple different things that we can show you here on this joystick. One, you have a green circle, so it means you're able to drive and you're no longer in a position that is not safe to drive. Over here, you can tell we need to charge our batteries because it actually has the percentage on there of 30% with a little red dot or a red line showing you that we, it, we are at a lower end of charge. On this side, uh, you do have actually how you can scale down your speed. So you see if I twist this knob down, you can fine tune it. Now you have four profile settings typically on these joysticks, um, which I will show you here. You have indoor slow, which is going to be your slowest setting. So if you had this all the way down and on indoor slow, the chair would barely move. Just for the video purposes, I'm going to turn it up. But if you hit this lever forward again, so don't push it backwards, that turns it off. Push the lever forward again, you're going to go to indoor moderate, push it forward again, outdoor moderate, push it forward again, it's going to say outdoor fast. So this is the four profile functions that you have. If you push it forward again, it's going to get into some different types of settings that you can use. So in here, you can typically go down to system information and provider information and your serial number is going to be located right here. You push the joystick back to the left. Again, you're going to cycle back out of this. If you push this lever forward one more time, it's going to get to your seat functions. So the way you're going to operate this is whatever is highlighted, if it's back and bottom, is going to be tilt and you go left and right to operate it. Now you have just recline. Go again. You have just the seat lift. Go again. You have just the legs. Now sometimes they will have on here recline and legs. If you want to sleep, you can do them at the exact same time. But then, and then you press the joystick forward and back to actually work these functions. Um, you can go but to the home setting if you hit the little green home key and you can go into your settings. So what I've seen people do sometimes is they have the screen and they want to know what the distance is. This is set at the odometer like in your vehicle, but you can also have this set to a trip distance if you're trying to monitor how far you've gone on a single charge. Um, so if you need to change this from trip to odometer, you hit the home key, you go to the settings by going to the left, and then you're going to go down to display. And then you have all these different things. You can actually change your background color on here on the main display to all different colors. Um, but you're, what, you're, what I'm looking for is um, distance indicator. So if you go down to distance indicator, this is, says trip or odometer. Right now you can see how odometer is checked. If I was to push right on trip, well now trip is checked. I don't want to do that. I want to keep it on odometer. But this is simply how you would be able to change it from one thing to another. So once again, this is the joystick, the Q-Logic 3 joystick. Uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.